Hello guys, my name is Rohan and today we are going to learn about the palindrome string program. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have learned about the palindrome number program. So if you don't uh, didn't watch this video, uh, please check the link in the description below. Okay. So what is palindrome number? So if a given string is like this, this car, uh, if we read from the front side as well as from the back side or from the left to right or right to left, it will be same like from the front side it will uh, it is race car and from the back side it is also a race car like this okay so another example is ma'am okay uh, like this uh, these are the examples like uh, of the palindrome number so how to build the logic of this program so let's get started okay so first of all we have to uh, get the given string from the user or from ourselves uh, and we have to store it in the uh, variable with the return type string okay string str is equal to race car okay so this is a given string to us so we have to compare and uh, we have to uh, make check whether this string is palindrome or not okay so uh, we will take another string string new string is equal to and we will assign null value to it okay and uh, we take another string and name it as palindrome okay is equal to and we will assign the value of this variable uh, to this okay means the content of the str we will assign it to the palindrome number and this palindrome uh, variable we will compare at the last to check whether this string is palindrome or not okay so uh, uh, so for that we have to build a logic for this so as in the previous lecture uh, we have seen that uh, we have given number to check whether the string is palindrome or not uh, for example 557755 so it is a integer format okay so in the integer uh, data type there is no inbuilt method like uh, to find the length of this string okay so we don't know up to what extent we have to go to find whether it is a palindrome number or not means uh, each uh, uh, character by character we have to uh, we have to get that uh, string uh, we have to get that number uh, reversed okay so hence we have used the while loop there because we don't know the length of the number okay so if we don't know anything and uh, we have to iterate that particular thing so we use the while loop but in uh, but in the string case there is an inbuilt method called length <coughs> sorry uh, there is an inbuilt method called length so with the help of length we can find the length of the string okay so we know here exactly up to what extent we have to go so for that we have uh, we are using the for loop okay so for int here int is a data type we have to store the each character uh, um, means it is the index number of the string each index of the string okay so hence uh, it is stored in the integer format int i is equal to str dot length comma minus 1 okay. i is greater than equal to 0 comma i minus minus it here it is a decrement operator okay so this is a method which is inbuilt in the string uh, form uh, which is string data type okay so what it uh, so what is the meaning of string dot length means it is a total length of the <coughs> string okay and why we have written minus one because uh, we have started the string from the zeroth index and uh, uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so it is total of the seven uh, seven character but as we have started from the seven uh, zero digit so it will return as a six digit, uh, digits that is n minus one hence uh, we have taken it as string dot length minus one okay so if we have taken this as a one if instead of zero if we have taken as one then we will write the string dot length only okay so for that uh, we have to iterate the loop and uh, uh, we will now get the each character of the string one by one from the back side okay so first of all we have to reverse the string and uh, get the character of the string one by one that is from r a c e c a r from the back side okay and then we will uh, we have to compare the reverse string with this string to check whether the string is a palindrome or not okay so let's get started so new string 
this string is the, uh, this uh, assigned string okay so first of all uh, so at the first we have assigned this string as a null okay so again new string plus str dot caret i okay so what is it method will return okay so as this loop will iterate the character of the string in the reverse format one by one so as the index passes from the from the back side to the front side one by one this method will get the characters of the string one by one at that particular index number means for example uh, this i index uh, is at the last means it is at the sixth so what is the sixth index the value uh, <coughs> of the string okay so sixth just a minute so sixth index is equal to r okay so first of all it will get the value of the uh, string from the, at the last index uh, which is at the last index okay so it will get the r first of all okay and then it will assign it to the new string which has a null value and hence 0 plus r equal to r okay null means uh, uh, get this as a uh, 0 and 0 plus r equal to r okay and again it will iterate the loop and uh, will get uh, and again the string length will get at again 1 minus uh, n minus 1 okay so this time the string will be at the fifth index number and we will check the condition is 5 is greater than 0 yes then it will uh, come into the loop okay so at the fifth index what is the value fifth index the value is a okay so a and then it will uh, get the character at that fifth index number what is that a okay so it will get the a and will store it to the r uh, means the previous value in the new string was r and then the new value is a means it will r plus a equal to r e okay so this will store the r e okay so again the loop will iterate and the next uh, index number is 4 uh, the fourth index uh, character is four, c okay so fourth okay fourth equal to c okay and then again uh, the the assigned value in the new string is r plus r a and the new character is c because uh, the index as the f the index value is 5 and the f fifth index character is c so r a plus c okay means character value is c and new string value is r a so r a plus c is equal to r a c so in this way the loop will iterate up to the starting point of the uh, string and will get all the values into the string okay c c a r like this okay and uh, and to check this string is palindrome or not we have to write the if else condition it's conditional statement we have to write okay so if in this step as we have <coughs> stored this race car content of the string into the palindrome string so we will check this palindrome string with this string okay so there is a inbuilt method called equals or equals ignore case method so uh, we will get uh, we will go uh, go with the equal uh, method with the string palindrome dot equals equals new new string okay so uh, what this will check so in the previous lecture uh, for the palindrome number program we have we have uh, taken the sign as palindrome equal to equal to new string so this is for the character uh, this is for the integer value and this is and uh, this method is for the string value because it will check the integer uh, values it will compare the integer values and this will compare the string values okay so as we are uh, as we are learning about the string program so <coughs> we will get the uh, dot equals method okay so for this uh, for this uh, we have to write if this palindrome string is equals new string then write the print statement string is palindrome okay otherwise string is not palindrome okay so uh, it is a complete program of uh, palindrome uh, palindrome string 
to check whether the given string is valid or not. So we will run this program. Shortcut key is Control F11. Then enter. Okay. So here is a result at the right side corner string is a palindrome so the given string is palindrome okay so we will ch uh, change the character to, to check uh, our program uh, so t yes okay so okay. so again by running this program we will get the output as string is not palindrome because as we are uh, reading from the left to right side it is not same as from the uh, right to left side so it is not a palindrome number hence the output was string is not palindrome number so this is a program from palindrome number uh, i hope you guys like it please like and subscribe my channel for the more updates thank you